most common cook and all is literally motor oil. Canola oil is everywhere. Restaurants, package foods in your pantry. It's all made from seed. Was used since the industrial revolution. Canola oil was the solution. It was a contribution to lubricants for shit. Your eating engine lubricant, and you will love it. True story. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. My name is Zukardowski here of WeAreChange.org, and there's a lot of absolutely wild and crazy news to get into today as we have the latest court proceedings with the former president of the United States as there are a lot of crazy foreign conflicts expanding and growing now to robotic proportions with an ever so technocratic dystopian future that we are going to be talking about with all the latest events as the defensive lines in Ukraine have uh, literally been corrupted through politicians that took the money for themselves and didn't build them. We'll talk about that, plus a lot more all here on this independent media organization. If you like the seed oil-related shirt that I have on right now, you can get it on the bestpoliticalshirts.com. And the clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast was done by I don't know who, but it looks like uh, Joseph Everett posted it on social media. If this is the original kind of creator, or probably was the AI, as as the AI now is literally creating videos and images and songs and will be replacing all of humanity very soon. Now, what's the person that inputted all the correct kind of ingredients and topics and click start on this AI process? Who did this? I don't know. If you do, let me know so we can at least credit the human for this c computing production that we all just heard that was uh, pretty good. You know, it's not pretty good. The U.S. economy that's in $34 trillion in debt and rising dramatically as the U.S. government keeps spending more money that it doesn't have. As, of course, this problem isn't just created by the Democrats. It's also created by the Republicans as the former president of the United States is in court today facing criminal charges for, for not uh, writing off his expenses in the correct category yeah as his former lawyer michael cohan is now testifying in this larger court proceeding that is unfolding right now as people are saying his cross-examination is going to be a quote bloodbath as many experts are saying that the prosecution's case against donald trump is quote significantly short and failing at many different levels now what will the jury of donald trump's peers be deciding from these entire testimonies well it's going to be very interesting to see as a lot of people vying to be the next vice president under the donald trump ticket have just showed up to the courtroom and are currently speaking to the media as doug bargram byron donald corey mills vivek ramaswamy and even the speaker of the house mike johnson were in attendance outside of the courtroom in new york city supporting the former president of the United States that is battling 34 counts of, quote, falsifying business records. This as the current president of the United States looks like he is uh, actually imposing some America first kind of policies against China, which have been very surprising as he's been doing a lot of policies that have been helping China, including even helping other countries like Brazil shift towards the influence of China rather than the United States. As the president of the United States just announced that he is imposing a series of tariffs on Chinese-made goods, specifically when it relates to electric vehicles that now have a 100% tariff on them, 50% on semiconductors, 25% on steel and aluminum, and 50% on solar panels. 
As Joe Biden declared, quote, China is determined to dominate this, these industries. I'm determined to ensure America leads the world in them. As Joe Biden previously criticized Donald Trump for <laughs> imposing tariffs on China, which he is doing himself right now. As he's trying to save face in this economy, as energy prices are going up, grocery prices are going up, the cost of living, housing going up, inflation up, and the purchasing power of the dollar going down. As the current chairman of the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, just announced that inflation has been, quote, higher than thought and expects rates to, quote, hold steady. As, of course, inflation has been a lot higher than a lot of other people expected it to be. But what did you think was going to happen when the federal government literally prints money out of thin air and puts a down payment on the future of war inside of Europe, the Middle East, and Asia? Just like they did with their military spending bill that was passed by Mike Johnson and Donald Trump. As this country faces a lot of very significant threats to its larger hegemony, but don't worry, the U.S. federal government is working now on facial recognition, digital identification systems that will be linked to your online internet activity and create a quasi-social credit score, a cashless central bank digital currency like society where there will be no freedom at all. This, as the TSA just announced that their new digital identification system is here, which is absolutely freaking pointless, other than, of course, subjugating, controlling, tracking, and databasing every single American as they just released this hunky-dory video with the most debasing elevator music possible in this infuriating low IQ charade. Oh, hey, guys, look how convenient it's going to be when we inconvenience you. Okay, now accepts digital ID the more convenient and secure way to prove your identity when traveling. It's already in several states and counting, so you can use approved digital IDs at select TSA security checkpoints, including TSA pre-check lanes, simply by scanning your QR code or tapping your phone. Your photo is taken and compared to your picture on your ID, and you're off to security screening. Simple as that. Now, you still need to carry a physical ID and present it if asked. But if you like to stay a step ahead with a smart idea that's at your fingertips, use an approved digital ID at TSA security checkpoints and take the next step towards smoother travels. Learn more at tsa.gov slash digital ID. You lying Malthusian fat cat bureaucratic scumbags. Are you kidding me? More convenient. Right now, the current system, give your ID. Oh, this is you. This is your airplane ticket. Thank you. Go on. Now, scan your barcode. Facial recognition. Retina freaking scans. Biometric data that's going to be uploaded to a freaking data. That's more convenient. That's easy. No, it's not. You're just added extra layer of steps where now you get to spy through my freaking phone, take my biometric facial recognition data, I literally track, trace, and ev database every little thing that I do. Every little purchase I make, every little activity, action, thought that I have is going to be recorded by you guys and put in unsecured databases that usually get hacked. Yeah, yeah. No, thank you. As it's important to note here that I recently had to deal with one of these facial recognition scans at the TSA line, and I just said, hell no. What the hell is this? Do I have a right for a review? Like, yeah, sure. I'm not doing it. You have a right to say no, as of course they have already implemented these systems, pilot programs all throughout the United States. They just did this in Miami. I was walking through and I'm like, why, why are people take, why are we taking a photo of my face? I don't want this. No, I, no. They're like, it's for your safety. My, yeah, sure. I heard that one before. Again, there, I was like, okay, here's my airplane ticket, paper ticket. Here's my ID. Here you go. And they're like, okay, take a photo. And I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not doing this. They're like, okay. I'm like, what's, wh what's the difference? They're like, it's, it's easier. It's quicker. I'm like, it's not. I don't want a photo taken of me. You're going to have to take my ticket and my, and my ID anyway. You do that already. Why are you lying to me? As of course, this type of lying is absolutely infuriating. And please, if, if you're going through the airport, just say no to the latest retina facial recognition scanners that are absolutely not there for your own personal well-being or interest, as it's infuriating, especially when it comes to the future technocratic hellscape with drone warfare upon us. 
that is going to be playing a major role with everything that we upload to the grid, which you should be extremely careful of. That's one of the things that we talk about extensively on LukeUnfiltered.com, as previously we shared a lot of very important privacy details about actions that you could implement in your life not to be a, a target of the larger kind of online databases that literally sell your data and information about you to the highest bidder. I'm going to be sharing some of those details later on today on a special broadcast just for members where we go totally unfiltered on Luke Unfiltered. Dot com. I'm working on trying to figure out a nature hike in Washington, D.C. It's a bit complicated because there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm doing my best, but as of course, touching grass, going out there, walking, being in nature, meeting other like-minded individuals is something that we have just started to do. We did a major hike in Austin. We did a major one here in Miami. I want to do one in Washington, D.C. during the Libertarian National Convention, which I will be at. Your memberships help spur on these larger gatherings, these larger meetings, these larger kind of events that help a lot of different people come together, walk, touch grass, and of course, uplift themselves mentally and physically in a more positive direction. You could be a part of that all by signing up to lookunfiltered.com as you also get the ability to call into our live show as we had an incredible show last night with Robert Breedlove where you guys got to call in. We're gonna have an incredible show today with with two special guests that are too controversial to even mention here on this particular broadcast, as the conversation is very tumultuous, very interesting, and very fun for two hours, as we're going to be doing another live show later on today on youtube.com forward slash we are change. As a member of lukeunfiltered.com, you actually get the ability to call in and be a part of the conversation through a video. Be that person right now. Sign up to lookunfiltered.com. It's quick, it's easy, it's simple. Click the link in the description below. You could sign up for $8, $15, $99. Click here, put in your information. It's very easy. You get emailed back a login. And then, of course, you get the ability to call in to the show and be a part of it. All of this as internationally and geopolitically, things are also uh, pretty tumultuous, pretty crazy. As the Daily Mail has a very uh, interesting article today titled, How Europe and Britain Will Stop Putin Unleashing Armageddon. As they're highlighting an interactive graphic showing how nuclear bombs on, on, on Russia's doorstep and arms factory are going to have a, a significant impact when it comes to uh, allegedly deterrence against Russia. This as the Arctic could be the next front of this war as the new energy reserves are being found in that particular region as Russia and other Western powers are vying for more influence over that region that they want more and more control of. Controlling that area means controlling more energy. This as the United States is financing multiple conflicts in multiple regions of the world while, of course, only indebting itself very significantly. One conflict in the Middle East destroyed training their relations with their allies as the current conflict that they're financing to a greater tune inside of Ukraine is becoming more and more of a robotic proxy war than an actual proxy war as we got this footage which Alex Jones described as quote robot wars showing three Ukrainians in a trench using a helicopter drone with munitions on it used to what looks like explode a tarp which led them to of course celebrate as drones are becoming more and more useful in the larger trench warfare between the Ukrainian and Russian forces as the Ukrainians have, have just opened up a new training center for drone operators where they are training a lot of their new young recruits how to fly a lot of these robots with munitions on them in order to, of course, blow up their opposition. As DefenseNews.com is talking about how these drone robots could be a, quote, game changer in this larger proxy conflict, as, of course, the Ukrainian military is dealing with a significant problem, not having enough manpower. But will robots make up for that significant lack of manpower by doing most of the fighting for them? Will it make a larger difference here? Well, that's a question that I think is worth asking as there's a lot of other factors here that are worth considering. As today, we're also finding out that the Russians were able to reinvade northern Ukraine 
because local officials pocketed the money that was sent for defensive fortifications. And instead of building the defensive lines and the trenches and strategic strongholds to push away the Russians, they literally took the money themselves, highlighting the larger corruption problem within Ukraine that is also leading to a lot of people paying the ultimate price for a lot of the military hardware that we paid for that isn't even going to the troops on the front lines there. Your hard-earned money as an American is literally going for this conflict where politicians in Ukraine are, are pocketing the money for themselves. This is Alex Jones also said that humanity is in deep trouble highlighting a video showing how the Chinese have, quote, learned a lot about drones from the Ukrainian conflict and how the next war is going to be, quote, very different, highlighting a video of synchronized drone flying, which already happens in many places around the Western world for entertainment purposes. But now you kind of add the larger factor of adding munitions to a lot of these synchronized drones, and you have a situation that's going to be very incredibly difficult to defend against, especially when it comes to larger drone swarms with munitions on them that will, of course, obliterate any kind of military standing in its way, any kind of defensive fortifications, any kind of larger troop movement that will be prevented immediately just with these larger robots that are becoming more and more significant in the battle for Ukraine, as it definitely does seem like China is preparing for a lot of these new advanced warfare techniques by developing a lot of different robotics, artificial intelligence, and digital forms of weaponry that could be using conventional and unconventional warfare tactics when it comes to subjecting, destroying, and conquering other nations and peoples. This, as Business Insider is reporting, that the U.S. military isn't ready for the coming drone war, as it definitely does look like from all the reports that China is preparing, as there's a lot of learning lessons from the proxy war in Ukraine, lessons that are horrifying, especially when you look at the larger capabilities and the larger reliance on technology from the people of this world that are becoming more and more dependent on it, as now surveillance, spying, and elimination of human subjects is now more easier than ever, and in a larger kind of battle and conflict will probably be utilized to its fullest extent, which should be terrifying for the average human being. As the capabilities of what could go wrong here, especially with an artificial intelligence that will be smarter than most human beings, especially with all of this technology, all of the information, all of the databasing being utilized in so many different ways highlights what, in my opinion, is an utter recipe for disaster. As the future of humanity is literally in question with all these latest technological advancements. So yeah, when you're at the TSA line, don't let them take a photo of your face. When it comes to uh, doing anything online, be careful, be smart, because everything you do online is now known to the federal government and also the future artificial intelligence technocratic robots that soon might be hunting you. Is that a future that's inevitable? I think so. What do you think? Let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you again so much for subscribing to this channel, watching it. We got one more video coming your way on lukeunfiltered.com right now and a podcast episode later on today, 6 p.m. Eastern here on youtube.com forward slash we are change. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys supporting me. And this is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on youtube.com forward slash we are change.